Hello y'all, welcome to Southern Bella Home. I'm Sharon and today is a very special day in the garden. I am having a girls party in the garden, folks. You know, I worked really hard on this garden and it's doing well and there's a sweet little table and chairs out there and it's just begging for somebody to sit out there and enjoy it. So today, my family's coming over, my sweet sister and sister-in-law, and we're gonna have breakfast in the garden and I'm gonna take y'all along with us. So seriously, I worked really hard in this garden. My husband has worked really hard in this garden and right now, before the heat sets in, before fungus gets the tomatoes, before powdery mildew gets on the squash, the garden looks lush and beautiful. So I just thought it would be the perfect spot to have a little breakfast with my sweet sister and sister-in-law because they love gardening, they love my garden and wanted to see it. So this is just a sweet celebration. And now I'm gonna show you what's on the menu. So the star of the show is a quiche that I made from venison sausage from a deer that we harvested, my husband and sons. I'm not sure which one harvested this particular deer, but we loved the deer sausage. And I have a little um, compote of tomatoes with fresh basil from the herb garden. And then a little tropical fruit Platter with grapes, pineapple, and cantaloupe, and a little um, turbinado natural cane sugar. Here I have pears that I preserved from last year, dandelion jelly, and strawberry jam that I just finished last night. We have apple juice, and we will have coffee, and I have a little yogurt parfait bar set up where they can put, um, I took some organic vanilla, actually organic plain yogurt, and I put vanilla in it and a little bit of natural cane sugar. And I have the glasses here where they will put their yogurt in and then they can layer it with blueberries or any of this fruit, any of the jams, and then top with granola. And I have biscuits about to come out of the oven. Well, the biscuits look wonderful. They look perfect. And I want to say that I tried Gemini Homestead's method of layering the biscuits, folding them over and layering those, so I can't wait to try those. But you may be wondering why so many biscuits for just three women? Well, I have a house full of boys here and my husband who are gonna be eating inside while we are enjoying outside. There is their quiche there. So, we're all gonna enjoy this this morning. Just gonna brush the biscuits with a little bit of butter, just a touch, to make them extra yummy. And I keep my butter in this little cute crock. I'll just dot that in there. We have the doors open. You may be able to hear the birds singing because it's cooler outside this morning than it is in the house, actually. A nice little cool morning air this morning. Okay, so the biscuits are all brushed with a little butter. It's good old grass-fed butter. Now I'm gonna plate them up on my little antique blue willow plate. That's kind of the theme I went with. It's my little antique blue willow china. Ooh, they're hot. Some with edges, some not. Mixing it all up because some people like the little hard crusty parts and some people like them all soft. boys should be happy because there's three of them and that's a lot of biscuits for three boys. Three, three, two boys and a, my wonderful husband. 
right. Put this in place. Y'all, I have to show you these beautiful little napkins that I got at the thrift store. Eight of those for $1.85. Can you believe that? So here's the biscuits on the buffet. And there it is. It's time to bloom. And the buffet's ready. Just waiting on the girls. So here's what the girls will see when they come to the garden. I've got my antique linens out. I love to use vintage linens anytime I get the opportunity. I have their little apple juice and my antique milk glass that my sons gave me for Christmas one year. Little milk glass cups and the pitcher and little flowers on the table. The birds are singing and the garden is waiting for the party. Now I know there are some of you who think this is just the silliest thing ever and you are out working with your cows and your goats and your chickens and working out in your garden or I don't know what you might be doing and you might think this is just fluff and silliness but I believe enjoying beauty is part of the dividend that we receive from all of our hard work. I want to savor every minute of this garden because winter will come and it will be cold and dark and gray and I'll have the memories of this little garden party. So if you have little girls or little granddaughters, you might want to think about a little tea party in your garden in the morning while it's cool. Now believe me, it will be hot in this garden before long and nobody will want to be sitting out at a table out here. But right now, it's cool. It's a little bit damp from the dew. The birds are chirping. There's sunlight in the pasture behind me. We have a few minutes before it gets warm, but we're gonna enjoy it while we can. While I'm waiting on the girls, I just have to stop for a moment and enjoy. Enjoy the space. Check out Miss Mammoth this morning. Isn't it looking amazing? Let's go take a look at Lemon Queen and see all those heads that she had ready to pop open. Oh yeah, there's my other Xenia and look at all the heads about to bloom. Well, she's got one bloom that's about spent, but look at all the others popping open beautiful. Something else fun I decided to do was to have everybody a little hat waiting just in case the sun got a little too bright. This is going to be funny when my family gets here because they live in a neighboring town and I saw on their text exchange that they were not really planning to leave soon as they needed to so they're a little bit late and we're kind of pushing our window for coolness out there in that garden. <laughs> so it's gonna be funny hearing them talk about why they were late. So we'll see what happens. My family. Hey girls. Hi. You about missed your window of coolness. Y'all realize that? Well, we have been driving. We can't make it in 30 minutes like well, we thought we could. Well, you know, when I saw your text exchange, I thought, you're meeting at 8, and you're going to be here at 8.30. <laughs> Your sister and sister. Vicki, you're in the glare. I can't see your face. <laughs> my sweet sisters. I call Ann my sister, but she's really my sister-in-law legally, but we, we think of her as a sister. But lovingly, I am the sister. Lovingly. <laughs> and look, my family always comes bearing gifts. Would you look at what they have brought? We have a beautiful, is this whole... No, that's the McCoy. McCoy, which is kind of the same yeah. as Hull, I think. She made me this beautiful succulent planter. She put that in there herself. And then my sister loves me, and she knows that I love vintage linens. They are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, ladies. I love y'all. You are so welcome. welcome. Aren't they just the prettiest girls? And they came all <laughs> dressed up, and I'm like in gen denim shorts and a sleeveless shirt. And they're like looking all glam and beautiful. We're coming to a party. Yes, that's, that's right. That's right.
see the good Lord knew y'all all would. You've had your breakfast and you've seen the garden so far. What are you thinking? Beautiful. It is gorgeous. These are my Can't garden buddies. It. What's that? Can't wait to eat the fruities. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I will share. I promise. We, we I have, will share. We have seen the beauty. Now I'm waiting yeah. to taste the bountiful. Yes. Lesson. Now these are these are also gardeners. My oh, yeah. sister-in-law Ann. She has a pool, but all the way around her pool, she has got veggies planted and flowers. And my sissy has two gardens. She gardens at her lake house and at her home, and she's got tomatoes just booming in buckets. So they could share with me, don't you think? <laughs> we will. We're, we're gonna go check out the greenhouse, but y'all can't see that yet. Friends, thank you so much for joining me here for our little garden party. Thank you so much for spending time with me and my sweet sisters. I hope that you were inspired and that you're gonna take an opportunity to go out and enjoy the beautiful spaces that you've worked so hard to create. Don't miss an opportunity to make memories with your family and with your friends outside. Also, I hope that you'll take this opportunity to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and ring that bell for notification. Also, remember, keep home sweet, Keep it inspiring and inviting so that your family will want to be there. Talk to you later, friends. Bye. Thank you.